have got an Achilles heel injury. My first injury, yes! We've decided to accept your application. You qualify to adopt one child? Yes! Okay, so I just get back to the house and instantly, instantly, it's like attack of the teenagers. We've got Rain here feeling very tense from being at the edge of a breakup mood swing. And now that I have two teenagers in the same house, or a preteen and a teenager, we also have Iris here, who was so easy before, is now in familial distress. I just need to escape this family. So all in all, I'm definitely struggling a bit with the teens. The teens of the household, although the food is great, because we're great chefs, but other than that, life is hard and we're frustrated and angsty and oh, being a teenager is just so freaking hard. However, you know what's harder? Waiting on the results of your adoption application which is what we've currently done last episode we did the house tour we did everything we possibly could but was it enough we're feeling very confident they were impressed by our job we like really anticipated the visit however money isn't everything the state of lives finances did not impress the adoption agent i don't understand why we have already made room decorated we gave her the house tour and Liv can only hope that this won't be enough to jeopardize her application we have 11 000 simoleons like how much do you need i don't know like look at this a room ready to go if it's not a toddler we literally don't mind we'll just redecorate the room we'll sell these bits it will be fine we have all of these kids rooms we know how to raise children it was rain in the background stomping and flopping his arms around i can just feel it also look at this little little sweet kid he's like oh this music is far too loud for me i do not like it rain i am gonna go upstairs and play on my science kit because his like mental is pretty good although his motor and social are good too but yeah i'm feeling like the look at this i hate the loud music i hate it and also he went and got his vaccinations a whole other mod basically Basically, my gameplay is now all funded and sponsored and powered by mods because I don't know how I play this game without it. But I'm sending him back on his science kit because he went and got his vaccinations. He really enjoyed them. He had a really good day at school. I like him. He's like my little brainiac. He's the same strain as Minzy and Saffron were. He's got that high IQ science mindset and I love that. Rain is different. He more has our like, I don't know, play the guitar. I like a little bit more like maybe live energy about, not live. Is it love? Lila. A little bit more like Lila energy about him. He's a little bit more of a creative soul. Although I don't... Oh, no, his guitar's there. I'll get him to practice that as well. So he's like, oh, although he's too tense. He's too tense. He's like walking with that like breakdown walk and all... Oh, I hate when they do that. Like, oh, they like flop themselves around. So I'm going to get him to work out his emotions right now. Iris is a tough one for me because she was... Oh, gosh, look at her. She was such like a sweet little mommy's girl before, like always helping me clear up plates, always helping with the cooking, just wanted to be like in mommy's little shadow. But now she's not. Now she's older and grown and she's so sick of being around her family. They literally drive her crazy. She wants to write in her journal, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her a journal. Her room right now is very much the room that we moved into, but I think I'm gonna give her room a little bit of like a teenage makeover. So I'll get her a journal, but also like these are nice and all, but they kind of just like came with the house. So I'm going to start slowly making her room look a little bit more like a teenage girl's room because she is also going through a rebellious teenage. Not all of my teenagers is rebel. Some of them are just sweet and lovely and wonderful. But I mean, Liv kind of did. So it would probably make sense that her kids would, you know, follow in her footsteps. Jesus, that's big. Okay, so I'm just giving everything like a little bit of like a recolor. Switching up her room a bit just to kind of reflect the fact that she's a little older now. And I am also going to, I'm going to maybe wait an extra day, but I'm going to start mixing up her style because I liked this idea of her being like a little skateboarding preteen. I thought that was kind of fun. And oh my gosh, don't immediately grab her journal and try and put it away, Liv. No, the, no, the, no, don't do that. Why do they like instinctively put books away all the time? It actually drives me crazy. Go ahead and like rant about your strength. Uh, your strength. Your strength. Go rant about your strength and then hide your stress. And hide your channel. Why can't I say that word? I don't know. These two have been very lovey-dovey recently, which I think is really nice. Like, Liv's working real hard to improve their relationship. Gordon seems so happy. He's feeling utterly enamored. And we've finally done the thing that he wanted to do since he was younger, like adopt a child. And he's doing it as part of like his work that he's doing as part of his charity job. Like, he's just so much happier now which is so nice. And you guys were also saying you kind of like, and I actually really agree with you guys, that this aspiration, uh, my nap is poses, by the way, ignore that. This aspiration super parent takes a really long time. And it does mean that we'll get to follow Liv's life for a long time as well. She's my final gen. So I don't mind if this gen stretches on a little bit longer. We kind of get to know all of them a little bit more than we usually would do when we're going to be transitioning to the next gen. And we'll be able to focus on Liv a little bit longer as well. I haven't even like achieved my stay at home 
dreams yet with her of her being like this little domestic goddess so we've still got a lot of fun to have with Liv she's in work tomorrow and oh gosh we're meant to be organizing your charity event oh it's 7 p.m okay we can still do this we can still do this I'm just having a quick nap to get me ready let's do this let's do this let's let's invite people around and try and get some money for your charity look I'm feeling so confident all of our needs aren't so bad so I think this is totally fine and I've got cooked ham I literally have cooked ham ready to go spoils in an hour I'll I'll make a dessert so I will just do this as a dinner party we're just trying to raise some funds we're gonna be hosting and gonna invite a lot of people that i think might donate to the cause why are you showing me ghost dogs how are you still alive okay 14 guests and i'm actually gonna be the caterer so i don't need to hire anyone wait why can't i select myself as the caterer well it's just so annoying oh i'm so vexed okay i guess we'll also hire in you know what? Whatever. I'll help out. And I need to make drinks. Oh my gosh, I have no way of making drinks. Gordon, you're going to have to schmooze like you've never schmoozed before, okay? You need to get 50 donations. Like, I don't know how you're going to do that, friendo. And I feel like this house can actually low-key pull off, like, the bar. I feel like it can. Can I get, like, a blue one? Is that the closest I can get to blue? It's kind of the ugliest blue ever, but I'll deal with it. Okay, Gordon, you pour the drinks. Stop playing video games. In fact, lock that PC. You know what guests are like. They can't be trusted. What the hell have you just put on? What? on earth have you just put on i'm actually so disgusted by what i'm looking at right now i can barely even find the lock button on the pc there it is lock computer for everyone and what is this disgustingness nobody is donating to this oh my gosh i'm literally so stressed out looking at you right now this this right here is what we need and let's just put on some nice music let's put on some no we want to keep it kind of relaxed let's just put on easy listening there we go easy listening for easy grifting why is everyone just going immediately to my children's rooms? What is the deal with that? Iris is wanting to get involved as well. But honestly, kids, it's nice that you want to get involved, but you're also so mongy right now. So why don't you just do your middle school homework? Okay, people are literally really getting involved in our kids' rooms. I don't love it. Okay, and people are having their drinks. I just need I just need the money out of you guys. Let's collect some donations. Okay, who wants to donate? Schmooze like you've never schmoozed before, please. Try and ignore everyone's dreadful clothes. It's uh, it's the CC. Oh, look who's shown up. It's the CC, okay? Oh my gosh, Rain, stop going through the house with ham like that. And oh my gosh, it's 25 simoleons. I thought it was 50 donations 50 times. Wow, well, dumb. It's actually 50 simoleons in total. And we've already got 25, so... I think we're gonna actually smash this. This is fine. Oh my gosh, Rain, go to your room right now. Go to your room right now. Why is my child the biggest wreck ever? Don't pee on the floor as well. Oh, but he's actually schmoozing people. I can't fault him. Okay, it's just really hectic having this many people in my house. I mean, Liv's been an amazing host. Look at her in a perfect dress, like making drinks, being like, wait, what, what have you done with the drinks? Don't hide them under the table. Well, you were being a perfect host walking through the house there. How is this donation drive doing? <gasps> we've done it. We've got $50 in donations. 50 simoleons. 50 euro. We've managed it. We've managed it all. I don't know if this like accumulates. It's like if I collect 500 now, will that like... What have you got on that plate? Why have you got a camera on a platter? Is this some kind of artwork thing? Like if I do 500 now, can I just smash it for the rest of the career? Because if so, that would be so helpful. Oh, and I just realized that the person that Rain was talking to early is actually a teenager. So you guys totally can hang out. That's fine. Why don't you play some video games? Oh! <gasps> We've raised a hundred simoleons and collected five sim signatures. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, you're so getting a promotion. You've actually nailed this so hard. And more donations. He's so good at this. Okay, that event went really well. Like, seriously well. You've reached level 10 of the charisma score. We got a gold dinner party. We've definitely collected everything we've needed. Oh my gosh, they've immediately just gone to sleep. They was like, geez, that was hard. Rain made this new friend who is a teenager. I know his CC is a wreck, but oh, he's flirty as well. Okay. He also has these cool earrings and ears. So I'm kind of into it. He's like an elf or a vampire. I'm not really sure what, but... It will help us out with our aspiration. So since he's flirty, I'm just going to be like, oh, you're so funny. Oh my gosh. I have to get caught cheating. And if you guys remember last episode, I do now have a girlfriend. Mackenzie is my girlfriend. Samia is my true love, which is never going to happen, Saj. So now I just form meaningless relationships. That's how we roll. We've already made all of our decisions as a teenager. So instead, we're going to flirt with this elf because, I mean, why would you not? <laughs> if you have a dinner party and an elf turns up, you best believe I'd be flirting with the elf. 
He's also gloomy and childish. Oh my gosh, Rain. You guys are perfect for each other. Wow. Turning up with his little bubble gum. And totally digging me. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Somehow, it's a beautiful relationship. Somehow, I very much doubt that. But it's probably going to be the start of a disaster. An elf-shaped disaster. Oh, you can kiss neck already. Go for it, friend. That's not his neck. That I don't know what you're grabbing there. Collarbone. Eh, you know, different strokes for different folks. And I have to, like, have him cheat. So I'm going to get him to do this first kiss. It isn't him getting caught cheating, but chances are it's going to accidentally happen if I get romance high enough with a few sims, right? Invite them all around at the same time. Break multiple hearts in one go. It's the most effective way. And since I like tying people down, I like being able to play the field, but they are most definitely not. We're going to ask to be in a relationship. He doesn't know we're already in one. And we're also just going to ask about attractive presence. References. I know you're super tired and you really want to go to bed. But I always like hearing what other sims find attractive. So do that and then go to bed. I like very revealing outfits. Okay, interesting. Well, you ever know how to seduce an elf? There you go. Answer solved. So Iris has her, is this her first day of middle school or her second day? I think this is her second day. I'm not sure. However, she's starting it with a cold hard drink, which is a little bit disturbing because you're a preteen. But I guess her parents have left drinks around from the party last night. So she's trying her first taste of alcohol. And also you're stinky. I'm sick of this. All my teens are stinky. Please go ahead and get a shower before you have to go to school, okay? Oh, but you're happy from getting drunk before going to school. This is why the adoption agency has not got back to us yet. It's it's stuff like this. The things that we do like this that seem to be causing this. Liv and Gordon are also up. I'm going to send Gordon in so he can go and tell them the good news. You've also woken up and oh, Iris is currently... No, don't skip school. Why are you skipping school? Go to school. Do you really not want to go to school? You've literally had a drink and tried to skip school on your first day. You did your homework. Yeah, you did your homework. She seems a bit not wanting to go to school -y. Okay, Gordon, you're in a good mood. Do you mind just doing some like cleaning up and whatnot from last night? Because it's uh, it's not great. Let's not leave alcoholic drinks outside for the kids to drink anymore. Oh my gosh, the house is literally a wreck. How did I not see this earlier? I've got to clean it up because like, what if the adoption agent drops back in? And like the whole house is a wreck. That would look so bad. Also, why do I just have a fish? I have a fish in my inventory. I have so much trash in my inventory. Get it out. Rain, aren't you supposed to be at school? Yeah, you were supposed to be at school an hour and 15 minutes ago. And you've not even been up and showered yet. You are a tough cookie to crack. You really are. I need to get you up for school. But I, I can't send you into school that stinky again. Please, I know you're in that mood. So why don't you get a cut? You know what? If you're in that mood, fair enough. Just get a shower and then go to school. You want to woo-woo with somebody. You're not specific. You just any you just want the woo-woos. Great. And teacher has to break up a fight between Iris and another student. Oh gosh. Violence is unacceptable or no one got hurt. It's fine. Well, she wouldn't want Iris to get into trouble, would she? So I think she'll be like, as long as Iris is okay. Did Iris start the fight or not? I don't know. But Iris's character values are dropping like flies and she was meant to be my golden child. Already her manners and her empathy are no longer high enough to level up and get me what I need for my aspirations. That's not good. So we've got to do a little bit of work on Iris. Are you heading into school yet, Rain? Please get into school ASAP. And oh my gosh, the kids are having a nightmare at school. Some of the kid threatened Bowen and took his lunch money. He has been crying in the office. Oh my gosh, find the kid or I will. I'm not going to lie. That's probably exactly what I would do in real life as well. And then I start work a little bit later. Oh no, I've got to start work in a second. Okay, I'm going to chuck these in and then I'm going to go to work. Rain, you're two hours late for school. Two hours late. Please just go into school. Oh, and some time has passed. The decision letter regarding Liv's adoption application will certainly be in the mail the next time the mail carrier stops by. <gasps> well, I'm just going to be staring at this all freaking day now, aren't I? Oh my gosh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Please, 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 please. And Rain has not finished his school assignment on time. School performance has been negatively affected. Please be more responsible next time. I can't even blame anyone but myself because I literally raised him like in such a wreckish manner. He got very coddled, very coddled. Okay, and I'm just going to spend the whole day staring at this. But I think... Oh, we've met Chrissy at school. Christy, it's almost Rain's birthday. Rain is almost a full adult. What? And the principal is calling. Oh my gosh. Bowen's meeting friends. Iris is meeting friends. You've unlocked the people person lifestyle. Interesting. And the principal called to say my school performance is pretty shaky. And oh my gosh, you've been given detention. You've got to go back to school to detention. Oh gosh, what do you want? What do you want? You're almost on a D. Oh God. Okay. You're really happy about that though. Feeling happy from slacking off at school. What are you even like? 
You are a delinquent. And the other kids are back from school too. You're feeling super, super tense. You're also blue because you like got into that fight at school. You just feel like you needed a hug at the end of the day. But you also hate being around your family. So I don't know where you're going to get a hug from. But I kind of feel like maybe she's getting picked on because she still like looks like she's been dressed by her mom. So that's why she got into a fight in the corridor. So we're going to nip into cast and do a little bit of an update of Iris's appearance. So we're going to update her from being like little mommy's girl with her little hair clips and all of that to like a little bit more of her own appearance. <laughs> I know it's a big change out in one go, but I was like, I don't want to copy Rain. I don't want her to just like turn into like, you know, wearing time to wear black. Like I wanted it still to be her own vibe. And I thought one having a hair shorter is a pretty big rebellion from my mom. I couldn't re then resist the front two bits there as well. And I don't know. I just kind of like this look on her. I think it looks really cute. I can imagine her skateboarding wearing this. So a little bit of an iris update. Also, I forgot to show you guys this, but when I did start this episode, I updated Liv's eyes to add some age around them because I forgot to do it last time. So she does have like a slightly older appearance. So here she is in the wild with her new updated appearance. I'm going to invite around uh, Chrissy, her new friend, See if these guys want to hang out. Especially since she's feeling distant from her family. She'd probably rather hang out with a friend, right? And that's reducing the bummer day at school thing. Oh my gosh, her friend is kind of similar vibes. Okay, this is perfect. Her friend, I think also, since every other sim ever feels sad all the time, will probably be feeling sad. So if I try and like, you know, brighten her day, like, where's when we can like talk about emotions and stuff? I think it will discuss sad mood. It's going to help with my empathy because I need to get that back up again. Liv is home. She got £2,000. She hasn't got a promotion yet. But I think next time we go in, we will be able to get one and we're in tomorrow. So that's perfect. Rain is bored out of his head in detention. Okay, there we go. We're back in the range to get the compassionate trait again. Perfect. And I need something fun for her to like do in her room because like... Rain can like do his guitar and his workouts and like he can play video games with his friends. But what can we do in our room? I need to get her like music and that kind of thing. So again, we're gonna unfortunately be losing some of these to make her room a little bit more her own. Okay, so they're in here having a little boogie together. She's still feeling sad, but we'll try to cheer her up. Gordon has unlocked the workaholic lifestyle, but has been promoted to a fundraising specialist. Well done. We've got a bunch of little donor, uh, uh, bonuses and we can now get a thousand simoleon collection donation interactions, which is fab. Well done, you clever little guggy hag. He's come home from work super flirty. When he's happy, he's flirty, Gordon. You wouldn't have guessed it, but he is. Although Rain is raging right now. And how long do you have left till you age up, Rain? Two days left. Okay, great, great, great. So you've got work tomorrow. You've got work and hopefully a promotion tomorrow. You've done everything you need. You have, perfect. Let's keep coddling Rain. You don't even have to... Pick up your own plate. Mum will do it for you because that's just the way we are. And I do want to get a golden retriever, but I'm like, I might have to get it as a consolation golden retriever if this adoption doesn't go through. Otherwise, um, it will be like a, oh, let's get a new dog and a new child at the same time. Well, wow. let's pour ourselves a little um, celebration for promotion drink. Oh, and I am nauseous. I've got a, a little touch of PMT. Hey, Rain, it's me, Brendan. Do you want to go on a day? Hello, elf boy. Yeah, sure. Why not? And whilst I'm here, low key, I need to be kind of like finding other people. Trying to make elf boy jealous. Well, I don't, I've not been here in ages. You like retro music. Oh my gosh, you are so like, oh, if I'd have been born in this time, like I was born in the wrong era. You know, he's that kind of YouTube commenter. No freaking way. Is that, oh my gosh, I thought it was Shamir. Samia, Samia, sorry. But it just looks really like him. Everyone's wearing bubblegum. Everyone has bubblegum in my whole game. And look at him, impressing the room with his guitar skills. Oh my gosh. I should try and start causing some drama. So I need to get caught cheating. So I've got to go ahead and invite Mackenzie to hang out. Okay, Mackenzie's coming over. This is good because I can start building up my villainous Valentine. Okay, Mackenzie's here as well. So I kind of prefer Mackenzie right now. Elf Boy's nice, but he's new. Mackenzie, we've known for a bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and do the romance with Mackenzie to annoy Elf Boy. I don't know how wise it is to anger the elves, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, let's see if this makes him angry. Hey, Rain, you're on a date with me, remember? Oh, he's so angry. He's fuming. Okay, this is good. I've been caught cheating one out of ten. Oh, now he's boohooing. Okay, cheating an elf and they just cry. They're not going to, like, you know, steal your firstborn or anything. And oh my gosh, this is just interactions I build up until he breaks up with me. 
me. I need to do as many of these as I can then. This is perfect. I can build this up way easier than I thought. The breaking up couples is probably gonna be like the hardest bit because I need to find people that are already in relationships. The fact that the elf has not already broken up with us is wild at this point. I really don't know what he's doing. Mackenzie, however, is loving the fact that this is the first time in like a week we've given her any attention, let's face it. Oh, and I do feel a bit sad for Elf Boy. He does look real sad right now. Your ears are so freaking cute, but I have things I gotta do and those things are heartbreaking. And boom, I've been caught cheating 10 times. Now I've just got to get the X status with other Sims. Okay, Elf Boy, it's been nice, but literally I was actually only dating you just to break your heart because it's all I know. So we gotta break up. And hopefully this will be the first of my ex status with other sims. I'm so sorry, Elf. I am so sorry, but it turns out I'm the mean one. Okay, is that worked? Boom. X with one out of five sims. And I'm going to start getting a really bad reputation. Oh my gosh, his, his manners and emotional control are so bad already. His reputation somehow still good, but I don't think that's going to be the case much longer. And oh my gosh, he's a complicated fellow because like he breaks up with them, breaks their hearts, but then he still ends up feeling blue afterwards. It is blue gen, but yeah, he's like self-sabotaging. He's self-sabotaging himself hard right now. Okay, so I'm kind of worried. I feel like the kids are forming some kind of alliance against me. They can't bear to be around the parents, but they're happy to all hang out together, which I don't understand. And it's making me very concerned they're all rebelling against me right now <laughs> and are you having another mood swing rain what is your mood now edge of having a breakout again oh my gosh i can't keep up with him basically i think the other two have discovered that rain has the coolest room so there's ending up spending a bunch of time hanging out down here with him and it doesn't seem to bother him being around his siblings as much as it does being around his family. So, however, I want to find out about that adoption. So, I'm going to send everyone to bed. I'm going to let, first of all, Iris write in her journal about hanging out with Chrissy today before she goes to sleep. She's copied Rain's sleeping pattern. Great. But it is making her a better writer. And I kind of like that. And oh my gosh, what have you done? Oh, we've got pain. We've got pain. She's in pain right now. What have you done? You've got an Achilles heel injury. You've sprained your ankle. Best to take it easy for a little while. But of course, if the pain gets too unbearable, a trip to the doctor to get some pain pills might help. How did you sprain your ankle walking from the kitchen to the bedroom? Oh, babes. Okay, let's see how she gets on. Otherwise, I might have to send her to the doctors. <gasps> My first injury. Yes. That's with the mod that I downloaded a couple of episodes ago that adds like illness and injury and disease into the game. Finally, a sim has caught something. How have you managed to get injured walking from here to here? Yeah, Rain does heavy lifting all the time and has never pulled a single muscle. Interesting. I feel like she's just a bit klutzy and clumsy and I find that really endearing. Okay, time to watch this mailbox all freaking day. Oh, are you the mailman? No, you're not. Boo. Wait, you the doctor? How are you still alive? <gasps> doctor visit needed. Okay, that's Iris. She does need to go to the doctor. Oh, geez, I was supposed to be getting my promotion at work today. Gordon, does someone need to take her? Like, how does this work? You might need to call the doctors. Yeah, she's in pain. Okay, let's see if we can get like a before school appointment. It's time for Iris's doctor appointment. Okay, apparently we've just organized this already. Okay, head to your doctor's appointment. No breakfast. Straight to the appointment. Are you like walking funny on it or anything? I can't see you walking funny, but I'm gonna trust you at your word. If you say your ankle hurts, your ankle hurts. Oh, she is doing a bit of... Oh, yeah, she's like... Ugh, ah, and no one likes me. No one ever liked me. Why bother liking anything anymore? I mean, you did deliberately break up with an elf by first of all breaking the heart. But I feel like you've asked your mom this and she's going to be like, I'll always love you. So we've learned nothing. And look at he's like, Brah! and she's like, oh, you're so cute. I remember when you was a little toddler. You were so adorable. Went on your foot. Oh my gosh, rain got swole. What? <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, look at his shoulders. No wonder he looks so sad. He's too busy carrying the weight of the world on those thick shoulders. Rain, what? <gasps> and Iris's injury is more serious than she thought. She needs to go to hospital for repair, into surgery, and have a procedure done. Oh my gosh, Iris, please be careful. You couldn't have got a shower before you went to bed, could you? God forbid, stinky teenagers. But she's going to hospital. <gasps> oh, geez, this is going to cost us. Okay, Rain's heading into school. He's almost done with feeling blue. I think talking to his mum has kind of helped him. And he didn't shower before. No, he didn't shower. 
the one need they never seem to care about. Bowen is heading into school as well. Have a nice day. You also didn't shower. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a terrible parent. And Iris can't go to school because she's currently in surgery. Like, can I not accompany her? I feel like stressed that she's just like at surgery and I can't, I don't know what's going on. And why have I still not got any mail? I don't have work for two hours, so I'm just gonna do some, some stress cleaning. Gordon is in work, you work hard. What do you need for your next promotion? 500 in donations? Okay, it is a culminative, so I don't know if I say that right. But we've already got 125 out of 500, so that's nice. But we need 500. We're gonna have to throw another fundraiser, I think. Iris is getting told off for being late for school, but like, Hello? Wait, I should write her an excuse note for the next time she's in. I'm feeling so sad about her being in surgery. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna write her an excuse note so that she can bring it in when she gets back from her surgery and goes into school. And a big test is coming up in history. Rain's been doing okay, but a good start would really boost his grade. Should he do the usual or study as much as he can? It's Rain. He's probably just gonna do the usual. And he got a perfect C. That's actually better than what you're doing now because you're on a C minus right now, so... Good job. Okay, we received your note. Please take the day off and we'll see you the next time. Okay, perfect. Iris, don't worry. You're not in trouble for not being in school. <gasps> I couldn't reach your mailbox, but I managed to throw some mail in there. <gasps> when we get home, we find out it's literally in there. <gasps> and okay, surgery results. It was successful. Oh, she's going to school anyway, babe. She didn't need to. Some recovery time is to be expected. Therefore, lots of rest will help her feel better. A prescription for pain relievers can be filled on the online pharmacy. And what's this say? Iris is in recovery after that procedure. She doesn't feel great, but she's definitely on the mend. Okay, brilliant. I'm so glad it was successful. Okay, and Liv, you're working hard. You're working hard. You also work hard. And I'm thinking, unless something goes drastically wrong, I will get my promotion today. Eric, oh, hello. Yeah, sure. And Rain is now a D student. Good job, Rain. Good job. Please get a shower. Iris is home. Shower and then rest in bed, please. And I have to literally make all my kids shower when they get home from school. It's so gross. <gasps> and I'm home. And I think that's it, level 10 of the cooking career. I'm the creator of the fine, finest flavors, food critic level 10. I've literally done it. I've literally done it, which means I can quit my job now because I've reached level 10. Well done, good job. And then also I can get mail and find out if my application has been successful or not. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Decision letter regarding adoption, read. After reviewing your application and considering the notes taken by our agent during your visit, we've decided to accept your application. You qualify to adopt one child. Yes! Oh my gosh, it's actually worked. It's actually worked. It's actually worked. What do we do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? What's she doing? Playing refuge. Okay, fine. We'll wait till Gordon comes home. We've got to tell Gordon the big news as well. Oh, she's so confident. Whatever convinced the Sim World adoption agency that Liv is fit for adopt a child, she is grateful and overjoyed that her application was, accept was accepted. She's done all of this for Gordon. One absolute legend. He's a bit tense from work, bless him, but hopefully we can help him chill out. <gasps> and look, I can ad announce adoption application success. Yay! Look how freaking in love with her he is. As soon as he gets home, like, and sees her, he stops feeling stressed about work and instantly just feels super flirty and happy. And look how happy they are. Little cutie pies. Okay, I guess I need to figure out what to do next then. Finalize and complete adoption process. <gasps> I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And I really wanted to like have a specific child in mind to adopt, but honestly, I'd rather do it all through the mod and like experience everything through the mod because it's more fun doing it this way so i'm gonna use this instead <gasps> and oh my gosh children children everywhere children freaking everywhere okay there's six babies to adopt there's nine toddlers to adopt there are six children to adopt and there's four teenagers to adopt now babies are just kind of annoying i kind of want to just go straight in at the toddler mark we've already got two boys and one girl so it would be nice to adopt a little girl i think that would be really cute i just don't know who we've got tina or we've got valerie they're the only two girls and there's something about valerie's little Fun, I'm just finding really freaking adorable. But Tina's, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to decide? This is so hard. I don't wanna click off it though in case the option goes. Valerie or Tina, little Tina or little Val. I just love this hair. I love like this red hair. We've not had red hair since like Scarlet. <gasps> What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm thinking Valerie. I was instantly drawn to this child. I think we go Valerie. 
Okay, let's go, Valerie. What happens now? Adopt. Are you still in pain? You're still reacting like you're in pain. Is the baby just going to be here? Am I off? <gasps> Gordon, I'm about to bring you home the child you've dreamed of. Although you, you have got three, well, two of your own biological children. <laughs> but you think three. But still, you're about to have a whole child. Are you excited? And kids, you're about to have a sibling. I hope you guys are excited too. <gasps> he was so happy. Look, he's all happy about the adoption. He's just sat there waiting. Researching workout tips. Because he's like having a whole new toddler and he's a little bit older now. Like they age up into elders in seven days. So he's like, I've got to be running around after a toddler. I've got to up my fitness a bit because toddlers are really hard work and I'm not as young as I used to be. Okay. <gasps> Yay! We've got little Valerie. I'm going to obviously call her Valerie Berry. I'm going to keep her name unless you guys really think I should change it. But this is like the only name she's known. It's very confusing joining a new family and a new house and also getting a new name. So we're going to keep Valerie. Valerie is here. Oh my gosh. We don't know any of the traits or anything, do we? Here is little Val. I think Val needs... Oh, we get we get family leave. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's so nice. And okay, is um is he coming out to say hi? He's coming out to kiss her. <gasps> Look how happy he is. Okay, I feel like we've still got a whole life to do a redemption arc. But this feels like a pretty huge redemption, you know? A pretty huge redemption. Right, let's go ahead and CC up little Val. Oh, I feel like they just love her already. That's so cute. Does it say like adopted child? Yeah, adopted daughter. And she's independent. Gordon feels like she's open hearted. A warm welcome. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. Okay, so here is little Valberry. I really hope she has some like hidden traits that I can't see as well. She's got brown eyes. All of my Sims in existence have brown eyes, but that's fine because brown eyes are freaking adorable. I'm going to keep her hair red, but obviously I will just like apply some CC hair. And it's impossible to tell how she's going to look when she's older now because toddlers versus their like final form are often very different. So it'll be exciting to see how she ages her. And I really like the fringe and the bun. Now I like the high bun. Obviously I immediately want to put this hair on her because it has a fringe and a bun. Oh, the eyes. The eyes are going to keep doing that, aren't they? But do I have any fringes with like a bun on top of the head? If not, I'm going to give her my favorite hair. There is this one too, which is also very cute. But the, oh, the red's not right. Oh no. There's also this one, but I feel like I used that very recently. And I like the full fringe. Like this whole swoopy thing. It's my last chance to use my favorite hair. So I'm going to use it. And I feel like this has arrived at the perfect time as well. Because Iris is like becoming her own person now. And it's like, no, I don't want to wear what mum says I have to wear anymore. So it's kind of nice that now we have this like whole new child to like dress up. Because our other child is too old to do that with. It'd be cute if she had the little elf ears. But I don't think she does. So there we go. There is little Val. I decided to dress her in blue. Because she's like, you know, she's blue gens baby and just i know that that's really annoying but just ignore it and plus i thought it looked really cute on her and she's been dressed by her mom and her mom's favorite color is blue so i'm excited for her to join our household and the sound of the house has changed already and there's a thunderstorm which is also a set in the child so yeah after all of their other children are grown you know to be fair bowen's got a little while to become well he's four days away from being a teenager we're right back to toddlerhood let me know what you guys think of the decision that i made with uh the final um child that will be adding to our household hopefully and our new little adopted kid who's just crying in the hallway whilst we all ignore her but i will parent her next episode let me know what you guys think of the decision that we made and what you think of little Valerie, who is TB immune. So that's fab. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.